Welcome to Faith in Five, a weekly video devotional designed to discuss practical spiritual concepts in five minutes or less. I'm your host, Mark Vandella. Growing up, my parents always instilled in me to do my best. They encouraged me. It, was, it wasn't necessarily a performance-based thing, but it was always, you know, make sure that whatever you do, give it your best. And then as I grew up, they started instilling in me that it, it wasn't just about me. It wasn't the reason that they were encouraging me was for me or that I would get better, although that had parts of it. They started asking me questions like, who's watching? You realize as you play sports or as you uh, get better at a, an instrument or uh, you put on a, a play at a theater or whatever it is in your life that there are people in the bleachers. There's people in the seats. There's people in the crowd and they are watching. My parents did their best to take me, who's pretty selfish, I guess, I would say pretty uh, me focused and said, it's not all about you. Who's watching? And as I grew up and I played more sports and did more things, I started to learn not only, yeah, it mattered about my performance if there was a coach or a scout or something of that nature, or like a girlfriend was in the crowd. You always wanted to do a little bit better. But they did a really good job of challenging me also when something didn't go your, well, your way, when you make an error or when you strike out or whatever that is, who's watching and what would you want them to say about you at the end of a game? And then life got even more interesting when faith became a part of it. There was a bigger, or bigger, bigger purpose to who's watching. And I had several leaders in my life, several student ministries, people that loved on me and hung out with me and continued to challenge me saying, Mark, people are watching. It's not necessarily that you have fans or anything like that. I, I never made it to the big leagues. And certainly in normal life, it could be, at least me, again, selfish, could be dangerous to think that I have all these fans out there. But they said, it doesn't matter who you are or what you're doing, people are watching. And so last week we talked about coaching the bench and coaching your team is what they're watching worth repeating. But today we really want to take a look at thinking through what are people seeing? And uh, I love in 1 Corinthians 11, 1, Paul is talking about um, all the accolades. He's become Paul, right? People know who Paul is and he's writing to these people that he's been trying to teach about Jesus. And he essentially says, look, hold on a second. I've been talking to you about the example you should follow in me, not because of me, not because I'm Paul, not because I'm something great, but because of Jesus. He says, follow my example as I follow the example of Jesus, not follow me because I'm something special. He worked really hard to continue to point to, I do what I do. I behave the way I do. I love people the way I do because of Jesus. Not because of me, not because of anything special for me. And that shifts it from the fandom of, ooh, yeah, look at me, to, no, I can have influence on these people. That if people see the way that I live, even if they are fans, that they would want to translate that into their lives, not because of me, but because of Jesus. And I love that as Paul explains that, you know, it's, He's essentially saying, like, I know I'm not perfect. I know I was not perfect as my parents tried to instill that in me. I have a couple yellow cards in my record. But he, he's saying, the things that I do that are worthy of following, those are of Jesus. And the things that I do that are kind of boneheaded and, and don't really always match up, don't hold that against Jesus. That's on me. Because I'm human and because I'm selfish and because I'm Paul. And as we live out our lives, the the most exciting thing for me when I think about who's watching, when I think about who's in the bleachers, if you think about your faith and the purpose that that gives you, we have to examine those places. It's kind of both of those. In what ways are you living that you can point straight to Jesus? This isn't because of me. This is because of what Jesus did for me and what I've learned from him. You should consider doing the same. And then also look at, okay, where are the places that maybe would reflect poorly on Jesus? 
and take ownership of those and say, those are on me. That's me and those are my inadequacies. Those are my um, issues, right? Those are the things that where are places where I lack confidence or the places that I have weaknesses. And it's okay because of Jesus, he invites me to make sure that I think about who's watching. And you know what? There's always another game. There's always another practice. There's always another opportunity to do that differently. So as we play this game of life, as we practice hard, as we play the game hard and we try to be at our best knowing that people are watching and that our lives impact others, continue to take ownership of our issues, but also give credit where credit is due and help people see that the example you want them to follow is not necessarily you, it's a result of your relationship with Jesus so that you invite them into that same relationship.